What's up everyone, Takedown here, back with another hockey card video. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you some of my recent eBay pickups. Let's get into this. Okay, so the first thing that I want to mention is, I can't remember what each individual card I paid for, but for the most part, because I paid for quite a few and they all came in around the same time, I paid about 2 to $5 per card, including shipping. So to me, that was well worth it, especially for what I got. So the first card here... Jason Spezza, upper deck jersey card. And let it focus here. Right there. And it is 1617. The reason why I wanted to get this card is because eBay had the offer where they uh, cover $5 uh, the cost of an item. And I collect Jason Spezza cards, so I thought, why not get this card? It only cost me 50 cents for it. eBay covered the other $5. Next, I will show you the bonus card that the seller included first. Um, that is a Young Guns for Ronald's Kennens. Not familiar with this player, but I love Young Guns, so why not add one to the collection? And the card that I bidded on and won was a Cedric Paquette Future Watch numbered out of 1,000. So I love number cards. Future Watch, I have only one auto one. So, I like Cedric Paquette, so I decided I'm going to get this one when I've seen it so cheap. Next, uh, I'll save this one for a minute here. Next is a Rookie Relic Jumbos card for Kyle Connor. It is numbered out of 199. And it is 1617. So, I don't have that many Jumbo Patches. So given that this is a rookie one and that I got it pretty cheap, I decided to pick this one up as well. The next one here, I actually bidded on two cards in the lot. And they are for both jersey cards for Jonathan Quick. This one, I believe, is the Series 1. And this one here is the Series 2. Uh, both... 15, 16, the Series 1 is the silver, and this one here is black, so I haven't seen too many of the colored ones, so that's why I like picking them up, and I've seen the silver, and I thought I'd definitely have to get that one, especially since I collect goalie cards, I like Jonathan Quick, so given the price, I decided I might as well just go with that. The next one here, the seller actually included five bonus cards with it, so I'm going to share those with you guys first, so... First card is a Thomas Vinek uh, scorecard from, I think, 2010. Let's see here. Yeah, it's at the bottom, 2010. It's not too bad. It is a base, but I will take any bonus card. Next is a Ryan Getzlav ice card. I think it's this year's. Uh, last year's. I don't get too many ice cards, so that is nice to receive. I also got a baseball card for John Mayberry for the Blue Jays. Um, where's the year? 1982. I have to look up uh, how much this cost, uh, how much this card is worth, because I have no clue with baseball cards. So that was one I definitely have to check. Red Kelly. This is a NHL Heroes 1991, and it has a brief history of him on the back here. So you if you don't know who he is. Uh, it mentions everything that he has accomplished and that he was inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame in 1969. And the last bonus card that this seller gave to me is a Ed Belfour uh, Invincible 2004 card. I like that it is laminated and right down here you can see through it. So I think that is phenomenal. I collect goalie cards. This is definitely a top goalie in my opinion. So this is perfect for my goalie collection. Definitely happy and excited that I got this card. But the card that I bid it on is one of my favorite players of all time. I know a lot of people might not agree with this, but it is for Daniel Alfredson jersey card. So I actually have his rookie card um, up on display in my room. So now I can actually put this right next to it. So I'm happy that I got this. Uh, it is a 2012-2013 so I'm super excited for this. Like I said, he's one of my favorite players 
of all time, and I don't get that many SP game used cards in general. So the fact that it's a jersey card of one of my favorite players, I'm really happy that I got that. That has to be my favorite card that I picked up today. And the last card here is for the is for my current favorite player in the league, and that is for Matt Duchesne. This is a dual jersey card for artifacts, numbered 67 out of 125. Surprisingly, I got this pretty freaking cheap. Uh, this one here is 2013-14, whenever he was on Avalanche. I love this guy. He's a freaking amazing. I love his speed on the ice. I love that the Ottawa Senators got him, and I was a huge fan once they got him, but sadly they traded him to Columbus not too long ago. I was really disappointed in that. I think he would have done great on the team if he had continued. He would have definitely been a captain material. So I seen this card and I definitely had to pick it up. I got it really cheap, surprisingly. I think I pretty much stole it from the auctions. I don't think anybody else seen it. I want to say it was around $2, maybe $150. But this is definitely what I'm going to be putting on my display in my room because I'm such a Matt Duchesne fan. It's sad to see him go from Ottawa, but he's definitely going to be doing bigger things in Columbus. So these are my cards that I recently picked up from eBay. Like I said, Daniel Alfredson would be one of my favorite ones because he's one of my favorite players of all time. But definitely Matt Duchesne is also my favorite one that I picked up. Like I said, everything was around 2 to $5, nothing more than that. So hope you guys did enjoy this video. I might pick up some more cards in the future from eBay. As long as I see them cheap in auction, I will bid on them. And typically, I'll bid on things like jersey cards, rookie materials, stuff like that. Maybe some future watch if I see any, but... I am going to leave this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.